Shannon, that third quarter, you blew the game open. I mean, you turned up your defence and then out of the turnovers you were able to force, your offensive transition game was terrific. How were you able to turn the tide? Uh, look, I, I think, uh, you know, we had a really good game the other day in Adelaide where we defended well for the whole four quarters and we were really happy with that. And I think maybe we turned up today and thought we'd just magically do the same thing. And I think the girls realised at halftime and, you know, some of our more senior players spoke up a bit more in the locker room about our effort and probably consistency at the defensive end. We obviously let Amy Atwell get off. She had 21, I think, at half time. And, um, you know, we knew coming out of the locker room we had to tighten that up. And if we could do that, we'd have a chance to win the game. So, you know, really proud of the team, I think, to be able to respond um, when things weren't going well for us probably on offence or defence in the first half. And, um, you know, again, if we get stops, we can run and we can play on the open floor. And I think that's when we're going to be at our best. So, you know, it was great to see that. And, yeah, really happy to get a win here in Perth. It felt like you turned a bit of the momentum late in the, in the second quarter as well. So yep. you went into, into half time and cut the lead back to four and then you're able to carry that on. How important was it to finish off that first half? With oh, a bit of momentum? It was critical. I think it, when we were down 10 or whatever that was with a couple of minutes, three minutes to go, um, you know, I was really worried. I thought maybe we just, you know, we we're going to pack it in and whatever. And they could, we easily could have let that get out to 15. So I think for the girls to be able to claw it back, I think Jess McDowell White gave us some really good minutes at the end of the half. Was able to sort of create, you know, an open three and hit one herself and just keep us sort of, you know, head above water a little bit. Um, and then obviously in the third, as you said, we're able to sort of really get some consistent stops and um, create some easy opportunities from that. With your firepower, scoring's never going to be an issue, but defensively, I think 51 points against Adelaide on, on Thursday and 27 in the second half yeah. tonight. So defensively, okay, if, if you can hold teams to those sort of totals, you're, you're going to be tough. Yeah, and that's our mindset, you know, and I think, uh, you know, like we've probably got a, probably coming into the year, people would probably think we'll be better offensively than defensively with the group we've got, but the girls have been great. You know, I wasn't very happy with our defence the first couple of weeks of the season, and We've spent a lot of time on practice drilling that, um, you know, demanding them that they be consistent with effort and all those types of things, some technical details. And uh, I think we're starting to get that. So, you know, I think for us to be a really good team this year, we're going to have to be great defensively because we shoot a lot of threes that, you know, you're not always going to hit those. We're not always going to have it clicking offensively. But if we defend and we hold teams to low scores, then we're always in every game. This was a big occasion for Sammy to come come back to a sort of adopted home and play against the Lynx for the first time. but. Do you think, it was a, from her perspective, was it an emotional sort of occasion? I don't think so. I don't think she was thinking about it like that. I think the, any emotion for her was probably just getting to see uh, Kate and Nash again. And, you know, I think she's missing them a lot and it's been hard for her to not be around them every day. Um, so I think that's the emotion for her. But in terms of the basketball and coming back to Perth, um, I'm sure she wanted to win. Um, but, no, she's been great. She's an ultra, you know, ultra professional and has fit into our team perfectly since day one. Another short turnaround as well, so you get back home but you play Adelaide on Wednesday, but you're feeling pretty good after this road trip. Yeah, we are, but Adelaide are a great team. You know, they probably didn't play as well as they wanted to the other day against us, and we've got to travel home now, and I think the, you know, the we're doing the red eye, and we're only going to have about 36 hours between getting home and playing that game, so it's, um, you know, it's going to be tough, um, and I'm sure Adelaide will look to bounce back, so we're going to have to be ready to go. Thank you. Yep.